Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the North Atlantic on the Dexter. Today, we're going to be doing more trawling fishing, but you guys have been asking for it, and finally, I did the massive grind to get around 20 million in the bank so we can upgrade to the best trawlers in the game. Now, I have two options to do. We have the Lunar Bow, which is not at this port in the Hermes. Now, the Hermes is a little bit cheaper. To be more specific, it's about 400,000 cheaper, which isn't actually actually that much when we're talking about 20 million dollars so i think they're very similar boats i wanted to get this one first though because we'll be able to sell this boat and at least upgrade this thing a little bit more with the money we get from the dexter so yes we're finally doing it goodbye dexter and hello 23.5 million dollars so i hope this is worth it i'm a little nervous but finally we got into the massive boats it doesn't even come close to fitting on the screen right now so yeah before we get too far let's actually check out this boat i'm just going to um return my crew to the hermes here i don't know how many we're gonna need on this boat but it's probably similar to the dexter just a hell of a lot more high-tech. Oh my god, I feel professional finally. Dude, I have screens everywhere. This is kind of overwhelming, but yeah, let's check this out. Look at this layout. It's so clean. Oh my god, I have a boat on my boat, guys. Okay, so I think this was the final boat in the Barents Sea game, but it's been years since I played that, so I don't really remember. This is kind of a weird layout. I can't even get over there. I guess it's not intended for you to get over there from here, so we're gonna have to go out the other side. But it looks like we can get over to the front, of course, as well. I don't know if you why you would ever come down here, but you can. I There is a little crane here. What would that be for? Maybe the anchor? For some weird reason i don't think that's it though okay we got some bunk rooms here i don't know if we can get inside we'll check later this is kind of a weird layout i gotta be honest because to get around you'd think they'd add like a staircase on this side in case you needed to go to this side it's just it's going to take a lot of walking to get everywhere here but check out the size of my net now all right, we're at the back of the boat, so it doesn't look like we can uh, connect down to the bottom over here. Oh, there's a damn staircase right here. Okay, so I didn't see this one, but we can at least get down now. Watch your head. I guess we'll just go right through it. No big deal. Check out the troll doors. You can actually see them on this boat, and they are freaking massive. Well, we can go inside at least. Check out this place. So, we Oh, my God. I have a freaking hospital on my boat. <laughs> Oh my god. You know you're living large when there's hospitals on your boat and snow on the inside, too. Got some little offices here. I'm assuming these are all bunk rooms and whatnot that I can't get into because privacy is a thing. There's an exit this way. I'm hoping I can actually get out. Yes, go to work deck. Okay. Oh, I guess we got through here technically, but this is considered a work deck. That's kind of weird. All right, and I think that's the majority of it. I still didn't figure out how to get up there. I'm kind of sad I couldn't get up there, but... um. Regardless, we're really not going to move away from here pretty much at all. So I just like checking out the boat because, I mean, they are quite detailed. But yeah, we're going to sit at the helm and make my workers do the hard stuff. So yeah, before we leave, obviously, we have to um, upgrade this thing to the best we can. We probably won't have enough money to do it all because these are actually, they're not as bad as I thought. So I'll, I'll upgrade the storage now plus 200,000 kgs. That's definitely going to be worth it. Engine's half a million, but uh, I think that's going to be worth it. Let's get the big things first. Radar doesn't really matter. The autopilot hardly ever works. Fishing quota we don't really need at least yet. Let's get the good fish sonar. Oh, I own it already. Okay, we can get three freezers on this thing. So that's the me the most we've ever had. Um, That's actually not bad at all. So we might actually be able to upgrade this thing. Thruster. Actually, we already own it. Sweet. And let's get the door sensor as well. So a cool two million. Um, I guess we could have got the best boat. I honestly thought we'd spend a lot more money here. All right, and let's get out there and test this thing. So I'm going to try and get some fish locations. I guess we could do cod a week ago, though. I was hoping to get something better than that. You know what? I'll check out some ports real quick. Um, and, uh, hopefully we can find something a little bit closer to today. All right, having some struggles finding some deep sea fish. We got Pollock over here. The redfish are unfortunately really close to the, um, shoreline. We need to go down here. So the only thing I can really have, um, yeah, that redfish is unfortunately a year ago is cod way up here. Well, this is concerning. I've been exploring for at least 15 minutes now, just kind of going around here, looking for wherever the hell these cod went. 
Um, as you can see, I have not seen one fish on my sonar. That makes me worry that the sonar is broken or that we're at the dead spot of the map again. I have had major issues over here finding fish. I usually go on this side of the deep because of that. Well, my sonar clearly works. I went to the real shallows right now just to make sure. And yeah, it seems like we're at the start of the year. So all the fish might just be in the shallows right now. Um, so I might actually need to skip ahead time, but yeah, I'm gonna go look for some more intel. Hopefully we can get something in the deep. And would you look at that? I skipped ahead, uh, a, a month or so, and we're out where we were once again with some new redfish intel. And, um, yeah, you can see there's at least something on the map. All right, yeah, there's definitely fit fish here, so this is good. I don't need a, a lot of schools anyways, and it's actually not too deep here, so perfect. All right, and let's do this thing. Where the hell is even my crew? I think I set them out. Oh, yeah, they're down there. It's... <laughs> such a big boat now i don't even see them anymore oh there they are hello little guys so let's set that trawl and uh, yeah hopefully we can be successful first try here all right i'm not sure what's going on with my radar by the way i don't know if this is the ground or a school of fish we're, we're supposed to be 200 meters so yeah actually we might be actually cl close to the ground anyways let's keep this here i, I don't want to go too deep because i'm actually on a school right now and yeah you can see the distance of my bottom is 188 meters um, yeah, DP4 is the bottom of the sea, so this is pretty much as close to the bottom as I'm comfortably going. Like I said, we're in shallow parts right now. This is kind of fun, actually. All right, so I hit that school a little bit. Um, actually, we're still... Where's my... I do... I still have to get this set up. Um, I had a fish indicator on here. Do I still have that? I might have not have bought that. It might be this catch one. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. Oh, nope, that's the same one. Okay, well, we're at least catching fish. We'll have to buy... I forgot one upgrade at the port, um, and it's useful to see how much fish we're catching, but we got some fish there. We definitely weren't on a school. I'm very nervous right now. We are way too close to the ground floor. Now, there's not many schools close to us, so maybe I should just pull this in right now. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that um, just because I want to reset the net for when we're on a new school. I don't know how quickly it's going to be able to fill this up. And oh, it's so cool to see how massive this thing is. So this isn't going to be a great catch, but... Even with 20%, I'm curious to see. Look at this. It looks like a giant turd. That is insane. Oh, I love the design of this boat now that I understand the whole net thing. So does it just drop out? This actually takes a long time, too. Oh, it just pulls it in the middle, I'm assuming, with this crane. And then you can open up the ends, and it dumps it in the middle. That's really cool. All right, and empty the net. Oh, it just vanishes. Okay, so the animation's not the best, but there we go. 18,000 on the boat. And we are going to redrop. I was thinking about going deeper, but I think we might be able to actually get some fish here. And there is some schools, as you can see. Oh, we are hitting the side of this. Um, we're not going to get much here, probably. But I'm definitely hitting a little bit of this school to the right of me. Um, which, actually, we're already at almost 30%. If we stay on this, this might be great. But with how wide this net is... Like, we, we, oh, yeah, we're definitely going to reel in here in a second. So, not an intentional catch, but I'm so glad there, there goes the school right there. So, we're at the end of the school. So, I'm just going to reel in now. Yes, come to me, my fish sausage. Let's get a front row view here of what's going on. Oh, I love this setup, though. It's so damn cool to watch. The only downside is you don't actually see the net deplete. I really just want to see a mountain of fish. Is that too much to ask, game? Clearly, um, how much did we get there? 63,000. Ah, uh, we have a measly peasant fisherman over here. I am, I am, I am clearly cocky now that I have this ice boat. Where did he go? I swear, every time I look for a guy, he just vanishes. He's gone now. Oh, there he is. What the? What? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm, uh, I'm dumb. I am dumb. What the hell is that? Seriously? Was that the Kraken? Like... <laughs> That looked crazy. It's sinking. Is that my... That wouldn't be my net that far out, would it? Okay, I should probably focus on what's going on. Oh, would you look at that? We are right on fish. This is actually really exciting. What's the depth of that? 91 meters. Um, Obviously, we can get the lower part of the school. We have to go over 100 meters or we don't catch fish. But once we hit that 100, we'll stop and we should be right on this thing. I'm going to see if we can maybe catch a little bit more. That might be dangerous, though, because we are right on this school, as you can see. So maybe I should reel, st at least start reeling in. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to hit this school. So I'm going to reel in and we should catch a little bit more as we come in. <laughs> there we go. It's a good thing I reeled in when I did. 
Oh, God. We got almost a perfect load there. We're going to be right over 100 in a second. It's going to hit 80. You could not ask for a better situation than that. And this should be our biggest catch yet. 63 was the best so far. I'm hoping we can at least get it like a... I feel like this is going to be 80 at least. And... Uh, <laughs> I was so close to being right. 79,772. Can't complain with that much, though. Well, this looks fun. Um, yeah, that is multiple schools of fish, guys, that are basically on top of each other. We might be on the fish right when we hit 100 here. Come on, do it. Do it, you little jerk. Oh, it just vanished the moment I looked over. So I think we were on the school and we just fell off it. Worst time ever. We got a little bit of fish, though. You got to remember there's a delay because the net's behind our boat. So it looks like we did hit that school after all, at least. Jesus, look at this, though. There is so many schools of fish. This is this is actually great. So at least I found a good part of the map now. Ooh, are we going up right now? This is going to be pretty good. As you can see, I'm not really on a school. I'm hitting the side uh, as I reel in. Dude, it is so creepy out here right now <laughs> with this moon and the the birds. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it, but it's it, it's going well. I mean, I haven't broken a net yet. I've been playing it safe intentionally and uh it's working out what are we sitting at right now about half the boat full so a few more runs and we should be good now one thing i'm gonna have to worry about is machine gutting freezing and stacking um as you can see my crew's not doing so well so i'm going to throw michael on this and then nora can cook because she's the better cook and i guess we'll have one of each of these guys doing this and then hopefully the food will help me rest a bit Oh, damn. The moment we get over the 100 meter, we are on fish. Look at this. This is perfect. Uh, it's, a, it's a little deep to school, but I'm glad I was able to at least hook it. Um, God, I haven't been able to, like, perfectly go on a school, though. It's frustrating. We've seen what happens when that happens as well. Generally, I break my nets. This is actually as good as we've gotten so far. We're definitely right on this school. So I got to keep an eye out on this because we might actually max this net. But this is exactly what I want. Our spider's pretty good right now, too. Um, speed's perfect. Oh, yeah, this is... How am I not catching more fish right now? All right, so like I said, there's a delay, though. So I think it's going to take a second before the uh, net is actually affected by this. Um, let's start reeling in, though. I forgot I was reeling out. <laughs> I was too focused on the school. This is risky because we are way out right now. And I've only been out here a full night. It is now almost daytime again. So, yeah, you can, you can kind of get an idea on how lucrative this truly is. Oh, yeah, this is good. Okay, if we can get this to 80... I'm taking a little bit of a risk here. We should fill the boat. I'm trying to get just the top of this school to the right of my uh, starboard door. I think this actually might go well. You know what? I'm going to let out just a little bit because we are definitely going to hit this school. This is the best run I've had yet. And uh, this is what you dream of going right in the middle of a school. But I do have to worry about possibly getting a little too much. So I might reel in a little bit right now because I'm nervous. All right, distance. Yeah, we're only 100 meters away. We are going right on top of this school. And there it goes. Um, that means you hit it, essentially. So I'm going to continue to reel in. Oh, yeah, we are going up. Okay, so that was that was a perfect hit. You can't get any better than that. I'm hoping we're going to give it some time here to catch these fish. Actually, it might have stopped there. So surprisingly, I think we can still fish a little bit. Why is my symmetry so far off? All right, I ended up hauling the trawl because, as you can see, there's nothing on the map. Uh, I don't know if this is going to fill the boat or not. We might need to drop it real quick once again, but it's going to be close. Okay, yeah, we're at 364, so that's enough for one more net. Let's do it. All right, and we're on the side of a school, which is perfect because I don't want much fish anyway. So we'll grab this real quick and pull in, and then we should have a full boat, hopefully. All right, we ended off with a nice 50% yield in my net. So, uh, yeah, this is the final net coming in. It should be at least because um, we only need like 40,000 more and uh yeah we should go over by a little bit here but that's kind of the point to fill this boat to its brim 35,000 um so only 13,000 was lost perfect that's exactly what I wanted and we have filled the boat on our maiden voyage I gotta say didn't get any massive schools or anything but I'm kind of glad I didn't want to break the net on my first outing so yeah we'll see how much this boat is worth totally filled oh dude 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 no dude what are you doing i just finished and now some guy's crashing into me oh my god he's actually damaging me um you know what i'm gonna have to fast travel because this guy's being a jerk he's not even on the map it's just a troll okay give me the hell away from that guy 
Jesus, talk about unlucky right at the end. Okay, let's fast travel to Digby and sell this stuff. Oh, I'm pretty sure we passed a million this time, guys. That was my only goal, to finally get a million. Oh, actually, before I sell too, a lot of you guys are saying, <laughs> if you send your crew back to the crew house, they don't get their cut. And their cut's pretty insane now, because we got eight of them, 15.3, so... Feel free to have a rest, guys. I'm so not going to sell the fish you were just spending two days cutting and freezing. Well, that sucks. It needs at least four crew members to actually leave, and I don't think I can sell unless I leave the dock and, and reuse the dock. So what we'll do is hire these awful guys, and I can use them to sell. Okay, so now we should have a better rate, and would you look at that? <laughs> oh my god, almost four million in one run. Now, I gotta say, it's a perfect situation right now. All the prices are amazing, and I have my selling crew now with their awful rates. <laughs> so we're only wasting 4.6 instead of the 15%. And there we go. Bam, we're back at 7 million. We will be able to buy the other trawler in no time. All right, guys, and on that, we're gonna wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed some massive fishing today. We just blew our record away by a few million in terms of profits in one day, and yeah, now we're truly at endgame fishing. We have one more boat to check out, the Lunar Bow bow whatever you want to call it and it is slightly bigger than this one so yeah we have a, a little bit more to do in this game and yeah i hope you guys are enjoying it as always thanks for watching and liking guys and i'll see you in the next one